All right, this is gonna be a look at the micro booper or the Pico booper. Uh, it is an undermounted holder that is powered by a 40 max gas grenade canister. So this canister you fill with gas. So this is a green gas, you can get it at most paintball stores. And then you put a shell on whatever you want to shoot, whether it be a Mega XL or um, a spread shot or a nuke. Then you would put that onto your shell, onto your base, and then you have an undermounted grenade launcher. The Pico Booper um, was designed by Adam Oldfield of Old Fusion Designs. Um, he just designed this cute little housing with a couple of different button options that can be mounted on a Picatinny rail, like on most blasters. Um, that have a Picatinny attachment, you can put that on to add a little bit more firepower. Really helpful if you're playing against shields or special zombies or something, or you just want to terrorize your opponent with a large popping sound. The triple mega. Yeah, that was pretty good. Not a big spread, but it's fire. This would be the triple sniper. It's a lot easier to aim when you have a stock. Yeah, that's, that's pretty lethal. This is called the nuke, and it's got a little cutout, so it does get in the way of your muzzle, but you can uh, nuke it. That's fun. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> so getting the 200s with that one. 113. 115, there you go. There you go. So that was one shot out of the five shot duck foot and we measured one shot leaving at about 105. So that's 105 probably per shot then. So that's pretty good performance. Um, and that's within most games regulations. 130 is usually the lowest cap. So all the rest of these would shoot at at least you know, 100 or, or less. Um, but it depends on your dart and, and everything else. So that's pretty good though. I really like the Pico Booper. Um, it is very compact. You can see it fits on a Zinc. Um, you can put it on a Viper or other small platform handgun. The uh, Pico Booper with the horizontal button has an ambidextrous. You can either push it to the left or to the right to fire it. Um, and it's compact enough that it doesn't add much real estate, so you can run it on a variety of platforms and really not even know it's there until you need it. The community has also come out with different ways to hold extra canisters or extra shells as well, so you can have them on your loadout. The idea is based on the Airsoft 40 millimeter, 40 max gas grenade canister, and so you can really design anything around this envelope and have a modular grenade system. This I mean, compared to other mountable options like the, let's see, the Proud Papa, the Mighty Mama, the Mistress Key, the Microburst, and other ones out there, this one is probably the most compact and for the grenade style, most realistic functioning as well. Um, the Microburst was great because you had multiple shots you could get out of it before having to refill, but it was much larger and with a shell ejecting feature. The Mistress Key was great because you can just pull it to prime it, load a dart and fire, so you don't have extra shells or, or cartridges you have to carry. But again, it was, it was much bigger than this package is now. Um, and you'd have to prime it between shots, which can be a bit difficult to do, depending on how your blaster is structured to be able to get enough force to, to prime it. Um, but this uh, Pico Booper is really quick, really easy. Um, it does have more parts, um, but that being said, you can still switch them out and you get the more realistic 40 millimeter grenade feel. So that is the Pico Booper.